All right, everyone. I got another surprise box from my wife. I think she orders. She ordered this package from Stadium Comics up in Canada, I believe. But she's she said there's something in here that she really loved and wanted to get, and also a bunch of books for me that she knows that I would like. She already opened the box and did all the unpacking so we didn't have to sit through that or I don't have to edit it out or anything like that. But she said there's some awesome stuff in here. Obviously, this box didn't come like this, but I ripped my name and address off. So, you know, <clears throat> I don't get any uh, crazy packages in the mail or anything. <laughs> but uh, let's get into it and see what she did. She said the, the best, the one that she's the most excited about um, is on the bottom. So let's check out these first books. Okay. We got Spider Boy number two. You can tell right away that's Humberto Ramos art, and I love his stuff. So uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I have number one, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Book of Butcher. I guess this is a one shot. It's like, oh, it's square bound. Yeah, it must be like a one shot. So this continues the uh, Something's Killing the Children. Um, all the arcs that are going on in that maybe this is a separate story with someone else in it she loves something that's killing the children so she's gonna get every book that comes out for that next one is moon man number one this is kid cuddy's uh comic that he <laughs> collaborated with with um a bunch of people here i'm kind of excited to read this i'm not really that big of a kid cuddy fan but uh, it sounded kind of interesting, so <clears throat> that is uh, looks pretty cool. I like the art on the cover a lot, actually. Ooh. Now this, what I'm talking about, Thrawn Alliances, number one. I wanted, I saw this cover when it came out and I wanted it, but I had already canceled all my, <laughs> my pull list at uh, my LCS because I'm trying not to buy any new comics because the cost just adds up so fast, but she still surprises me every once in a while. This is awesome. This Rod Reese cover is fantastic. This is the one that I wanted more than any of them. So that's great that I have that. Another Thorn Alliance is number one. And that is awesome as well. That's beautifully shaded. It's like really hones your focus in on Thrawn. That's really cool. I'm excited to actually read this. I haven't read any in that run yet. Ooh, Gargoyle's Quest, number one. That's a J. Lee cover, if I've ever seen one. And that's pretty awesome. This looks like an homage or something, but that looks great with the whole team on there. And then another variant cover, or maybe this one's the regular and the J. Lee one's the variant. That is magnificent as well. That's great art. Is that it looks like Clayton Crane art to me. Oh, yeah, right there. I see his name. <laughs> there it is. That's gorgeous as well. And then one more book. Okay, so this one has, this is the one that she was most excited about. This one has a board on each side. Oh, I can, by the back of this, I can tell what it is. I'll take both the boards out this says standard edition 100 copies printed and if you haven't seen them stadium comics does uh, I, I think they might commission a couple different artists but i know one of them for sure and he does a lot of these homages to really awesome key issues and um <laughs> this is obviously one to X-Men 130, the first appearance of Dazzler. And this is Archie's Marvelous co um, cover gallery. So I bet you that's what this is inside. There's only 100 of these printed. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's check out some of the covers. So this is probably all of the covers that they've done. So let's... Uh, Let's check them out. Let's not put it down on my table. 
Let's put these there and we can look through them together and see how awesome this is. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful Betty and Veronica. Obviously, uh, oh yeah, here, here's all the people who did the art. Oh, Dan Parent did do some of these. Awesome. Uh, homage to Hulk 181, right? Another homage to Hulk 181 with Archie and Jughead. This is my favorite one. I have this. I believe I have a 9.2 in this. I'd love to find a 9.8, but it's pretty limited print. So if anyone wants to buy me a, a 9.8, my birthday's in <laughs> September. Uh, the Vicious Vampironica. It's obviously a first one. First Blood. It's obviously a homage to First Morbius, Spider-Man 101. Betty and Veronica to the Rob Liefeld New Mutants Cable first appearance that's actually was kind of stolen from, um, I forget what book. I'll have to look it up and see. Maybe I'll put the book right here that it's taken from. And you can be the judge if he took it or not. So that, that's, that is up in the air. Archie Super Teens versus the Crusaders. It's obviously the homage to Secret Wars 8. Archie Super Teens number two. And that's that um, Amazing Spider-Man annual cover. Amazing Spider-Man 2 annual, I think it is. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Betty and Veronica Supernatural. Betty the Vampire Slayer. It's to a Dracula 10 homage. I have this one, actually, the, the book that this is on, too. What if Betty had found the hammer of a thunder god? So homage to that uh, awesome first Jane Thor. Dan Parent did that one. That's fantastic. I love this right here, this uh, uh, Jughead hamburger. Vampironica, after super famous Spider-Man 1, right? Everyone's seen that one. The Amazing Super Duck. 500 cents. I like that part. Dan Parent did that one after that ASM 50. I have this one as well. Shows you how much they're charging for each one of these. She might have gotten a discount because she's actually gotten quite a few things from there. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, number one. It's that first Black Cat homage. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I love that Salem is up there. I have this one as well, uh, but I'll be saving it for Christmas time. Archie Christmas, Santa Claus, and more. Homage to that first Miles Morales, and then the second print of it as well. There's a so I think they released both of those at the same time. Uh, I have the other one. I I would like this one though actually. Riverdale presents Southside Serpents. It's obviously, an homage to uh, Ghost Rider one and or Marvel Spotlight that he first appeared in because they almost look like the same book. Archie and Friends Guide to Dating. It's that uh, classic panel homage that um you know face a tiger you just hit the jackpot spring spring break betty and veronica friends forever it's like that uh <laughs> it's like at the beach though I, I love that right to so that uh classic uh x-men cover with uh gene gray slash phoenix on it oh it's like a newer one catch up remains amazing jughead after that patrick gleason asm cover and then this is one for those classic Marvel uh, 35th and 70th, 70th anniversary borders. Chilean Adventures Sabrina. That one's really cool. I hadn't seen that one before. To uh, Marvel Comics Presents number one, right? That Weapon X. Chilean Adventures and Sorcery. After this awesome Mark Bagley Venom number one. Oh, no. <laughs> I have this one as well. Uh, it's that... Homage to that meme, right, of Spider-Man pointing at each other. And I think I have this one, too, uh, to the first. Who is Spider-Girl, right? Who is Cassie Cloud? It's pretty cool. Must be a, a newer character, because I don't ever remember seeing that in older ones. Chilling Adventures, The Cult of That Wilkin. So it's like The Cult of That Wilkin Boy. I haven't read that, but a lot of people really are enjoying that, I think, to that famous first... Uh, Watcher and Galactus and Silver Surfer, Sensational She Fox. Okay, this is your only chance, and she's ripping up the uh, the other one. 
If you don't buy my book right now, I'm going to come to your house and rip up all your Archie variants. It's awesome. To that Sensational She-Hulk number one homage. And one more 181 homage. And a little uh, splash page there of looks like Veronica. Oh, Sensational Veronica 2 right there. That's, that's pretty awesome as well. Look at all these. You can see them now. You can go to Stadium Comics, right? Give a shout out to them on there. But that's awesome. Huh? Only 100 of those printed. So. But that's really cool. I know she was super excited to get this. I think they made a version one of that as well. So that's it. That's the surprise from my wife for that one. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and keep digging. Peace.